All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. Uh, promise I'm gonna give you some more variety on videos, but um, it's been a little busy, but I'm keeping up the best I can. Um, so today we're going to look at a speed paint of mine that I did super recently. Um, the only reason that I haven't done speed paints uh, like a ton recently is because I haven't had anything to show you guys. Um, I spend a lot of time on realism pieces. They take anywhere between four to six or seven hours. And I just haven't had that time. So, you know, here we are. <laughs> but I finally have a piece to show you guys. Um, if you're curious, it's up on my Instagram. So if you want to check it out, that would be great. I also posted it on TikTok and Tumblr. I do have a Tumblr now. Crazy. I should probably link it in my bio. It's kind of a little bit of a secret, which not <laughs> I'm not meaning it to be. I am just a forgetful person. And I have a lot of things to remember, especially when it comes to posting things online. So uh, yes, but I do have a Tumblr now. So if you want to follow me there, I really just post everything I post on my other platforms, but like cumulatively. So if you want to see my TikToks and also my Instagram posts, and a, I can also post a bit more of my Twitter. I'm still not going to show everything because my Twitter is basically my tier one Patreon. So I'm still not going to show everything, but I can show a lot more than I can on TikTok and Instagram. So if you are curious about that and you want to see more of what I have on my Twitter without actually committing, that's the place to go. Anyways, uh, enough chit-chatting. We'll just get right into it. Um, I will warn you guys, whoever's sensitive to it, there is scratching, like self-scratching um, in this piece. So if that is not okay with you, um, don't watch this. <laughs> Um, and also very valid. <laughs> Anyways, let's just uh, get right into it. All right, this is going to be the piece we're looking at today. Um, it's not my favorite sketch. I'll, I'll give you that. It's not my favorite sketch, mostly because I did this sketch a long time ago, as in about seven months ago. Um, so it's not my favorite, and I've definitely improved when it comes to like anatomy and just everything. So I can see a lot of not great things about this sketch, but I was pretty far along in the process when I picked it back up again. And also, I don't really like restarting, and also I don't like not finishing things. So I just kind of worked with what I got, basically. Um, and this is the result. I, I do like it. Um, I just also, like, if I were to re-sketch this now, it would probably look different. Which, again, is fine. That's actually how it should be as an artist, or really anyone who creates anything. You should look at your past pieces and see improvement. Not necessarily that they're bad, but you should be able to see, oh, I did that wrong on that thing. I should do that differently this time. Or like, oh, I'm glad I don't do that anymore. But anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's this piece. So we're going to be looking at the time lapse for it. I'm very excited. <laughs> Despite taking actually seven months to finish, the actual like time I spent on the canvas was like four hours, which was really interesting because it took me so long to finish, but then it also didn't take me very long to finish. I don't know. It's weird. All right, so right into it. Um, as you can see, I started with it head on and then I realized that's not actually that fun to look at, so I changed it. Uh, I've been really into this three-quarter perspective. Not really sure why, there's no reason. I'm not actually that good at three-quarter perspectives, but um, I just, I don't know. I, I guess I wanted to improve on it, so I was trying to challenge myself. Um, and then here's me referencing my own hand because I can't do hands for the life of me. <laughs> It was also really difficult to figure out where his arm would go if it were pulled up in front of him, so that was kind of hard to figure out. I had to do a lot of posing of my own body to figure that out. Anyways, finished up the line art, and we're left with this. I also wanted to do kind of a fun perspective with his wings. I wanted to blur the foreground and then have him, you know, be in focus in the background. Well, background, quote-unquote. Um... And, I don't know, I thought it was just fun. Um, you'll see that happen later. But I tried my best. Uh, I got this idea from a piece I did a long time ago of Kaori from Your Line April, which, man, I would love to redo that piece now because I see so many mistakes. <laughs> which is, again, it's fine. It's just like, 
I can't look at it. <laughs> there is a reason it is not up on my shop. Um, also, self-plug, if you want to check out my shop, that would be great. Um, I have literally every art piece I've yet done um, that I am willing to sell. <laughs> so if you want to check that out, that would be great. It's pretty cheap, too. It's up on Redbubble in my, I almost said in my blog. I don't have a blog. <laughs> in my bio, there's a link for a link tree, and everything's listed and labeled and all that. I'm a very list and labeling and scheduling person, so everything should be there in its proper place. Uh, anyways, back to the drawing. So here, as you can see, I was laying the flat colors, and that takes forever because for these realistic ones that I do, I lower the opacity for the line art, and I get really as close as I can to the shape of the line art as I can with the flat colors, um, because I found that if I don't, I can, there's like gaps between if I, if I don't like get lower the opacity of the line art, I find there's gaps between the two colors because like I can't see it because the line art's in front of it. So, um, it just, it becomes an issue later and more work for me. So I lower the opacity and I kind of just get as close as I can to it. So, uh, it's a pain in the butt, but it saves a lot of work for later. It's like easier to do it now than it is to save it till the end and then like you basically it's it's so much work guys don't do it <laughs> just when you're doing fully realistic lower the opacity of your line art because I promise you it'll help you later um, anyways so putting in the highlights highlights are like my favorite part of the drawing because I just you can like visually see it come to life and that's like my favorite part I love being able to just all of a sudden see this pop of everything and so love love me some highlights <laughs> that's why any kind of dark drawings are so hard for me because I just I want to put in some highlights but uh, or anything that's like matte like clothing I have a really hard time keeping clothing matte because um, I mean some clothing has highlights shiny clothing like leather and some some si some nylons but uh, most clothing is pretty matte so I have a hard time not putting highlights and then I also like blending the absolute li living daylights out of everything, so it also that does that helps with the shiny. Anyways, continuing on, um, the scratches were kind of difficult because um, I didn't actually. I probably you know I've said this before, but I probably should have looked up a reference for this part because um, I didn't know how to make surface level scratches. I've only I only really know how to make like deep cuts. Um, and then like the scratches you get when you just kind of like almost when you like itch yourself just like those red light light red marks I know how to make those and I know how to make like deep stab wound-esque cuts But I don't know the the in-between so, you know, maybe you should have looked up a reference, but it's fine <laughs> Maybe I'll Do this kind of drawing again one day and I'll you know improve in the areas that I feel I need to improve um, anyways, you know, the eye was pretty hard because I was trying to show that he had cut his eye and he's now blind in that eye. Um, and I know, you know, when you lose sight in an eye, it's like gray, but I had a hard time making it not just look like a white eye and that he has like heterochromia. So that was a bit hard. I tried to make it look kind of glassy. I don't know if I achieved that effect. You guys tell me. Um, the mouth. I think I could have done a better job on. I like, you know, what it looks like, the shape of it and the and all that, but I think I could have done a better jo job coloring it. I don't, I very, very rarely color in teeth, so, um, you know, partly a practice thing, partly a I don't know what I'm doing thing, so I just kind of tried to keep it toned down. Um, anyways, I'm doing minor details here. It's really hard to tell, but I am doing I think the eyelashes <laughs> uh, or maybe the eyebrows I don't know I'm working up in the face somewhere I kind of wish procreate zoomed in with you so you could see where you're working but whatever this is me deciding the background and the lighting lighting is so important I used to do drawings without lighting and I don't even I don't even know how I did that uh, that last part was me filming TikToks because obviously anyways so that's the time lapse yeah, so that was, you know, that was that was it. <laughs> Nothing crazy, but um, 
I think it's fun to show my process, and I also really enjoy watching it with you guys because uh, sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing, and then I look back and I'm like, oh, that's how I did that. Or I look back and I'm like, why did I do that? So it's really actually a lot of fun to, uh, you know, just look look on it. But anyways, that's all that I have for today. Um, the next video will be another fusion series. I it, they're they're fun. I enjoy them a lot. They. Um, <laughs> They're really, um, they're really a challenge for me, and I enjoy challenging myself, which can bite me in the butt sometimes, especially when it comes to my, uh, my life schedule and then my posting schedule. It can be a little bit hard to juggle, but I do love a challenge, so I think the next YouTube video up will be another Fusion series, and then after that I'm going to do some editing of some Twitch streams, so those of you who either can't make it over to Twitch or are interested in Twitch but it's too long because I totally get it. Hour long stuff is almost too long for me. So I get it. And even and even an hour is like short on the side of like streaming. So I totally get if like that is too much time commitment. I get it. <laughs> That's like a almost a movie. So um, I'm gonna be editing it down a little bit to like a ten no, not 20, 10, 12 minute video so y'all can see what goes on on my Twitch and, you know, maybe come join us or maybe just continue watching highlights because also very understandable. Um, yeah, anyways, um, I've got more things to do today, so I'm going to end it there. Thank you for watching. I would love if you could support me and go into my link tree and just check out my other places, see my art. Um, you know, where wherever it is in the corners of the internet. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you on my next video or in a live stream. Alright, thanks guys!